Yeah, so my, my goals for my classroom culture are, I think, to make sure that kids are really listening to each other's ideas and really valuing their ideas. So like, not just being quiet and looking at them, but really understanding what, they're, what they have to say, being able to agree or disagree, um, and build on each other's ideas. You know, sometimes it's more successful than other times, of course. Um, and like you said, like that's sometimes when we've got to stop because kids aren't aren't listening, just to make sure that they're really hearing what each other have to say. I think participant engagement is still, I think that's tricky. And I think, especially at middle school when there's so many things going on, I've got a student who doesn't speak. And I'm trying, you know, I try to ask her a yes or no question in class, because I know she's brilliant. I know she could write an essay about it, but she won't say anything out loud. And I asked her a yes or no question, and she still wouldn't even shake her head. And I, you know, I, t I checked in with her after class about that. but. I think that's a real challenge for a lot of middle school students who just want to sit in the background and, uh, and you know, fade in the background and not be noticed. Um, I've tried using a lot more hand signals like, I agree, so that you can sit there quietly and you can go like this. And no one has to see you do that except for me, but now I've at least I've got a sense that you are engaged, you're listening, and you're taking a stand that, yes, that, that is what I think. Or, you know, thumbs up and down. Um, you know, I, but I think that's still challenging. I think it's something I don't have the answer to, you know. Or even just focus and draw out the question or idea that is meekly put out there to really focus. Hey, did, you know, I hear what's talking about that, but I heard a really interesting thought from so and so. I'm not sure we've discussed that or thought about that. What do you think about that? And I think that is so important. I mean, we have that, that, that boy who asked that wonderful question who now participates a million times more than he ever did. And so that, I think that's empowering too, when you've got that, that thing that you put out there that's really valued by your classmates, not just the teacher, but when the classmates jump on that, are like, wow, that was really awesome. Like that, we didn't think of that. Um, I think that's amazing. Yeah. So I definitely think um, next year setting up um, the culture, knowing what I'm getting into would be really helpful and sort of, um, having the kids develop um, some of the expectations we need to have for that. Um, so in the similar way that they helped develop um, the ideas that went up here. Like if we're, if we're really gonna listen to each other, what do we really need to have? And so to have a student-generated list of some expectations up, I think will be a great help.